Hey man, uh, you guys have any more of that super sculpy firm left? Yeah, I think we got some in that mini worm fridge over there. Oh, okay, thanks. Oh, sweet. Last one. Here you go, man. Right. Thanks a lot. What? <laughs> hey, big fan of your work in the Old Testament. Do what? See ya. All right, today we're going to sculpt Crack Shot from Fortnite. And I would like to thank Epic Games for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't already heard, Fortnite is free to play on your computer, console, or mobile device. 100 players drop out of the battle bus onto an island, collect materials and weapons, and the last one standing wins. You can play in solos or with your friends in duos and squads. The environment is completely destructible, and you can build using the materials you gather. Fortnite is constantly adding new characters and content to the game. And in the latest season, Season 7, the Stormwing is the awesome new aerial vehicle in Battle Royale. Season 7 introduces a massive map update with new snow-themed areas, including Frosty's Flights, Happy Hamlet, and Polar Peak. So jump in yourself and download the game using my link in the description below. Let's do some sculpting now. Okay, Dookies, what we're gonna need here is some Super Sculpey Original. Oh, aluminum wire for armature. Wow. A reference photo. An assortment of sculpting tools, like these. I especially like the silicone ones. They're squishy. Some alcohol for smoothing. Okay, uh, you know, enough of this. All right, what I like to do is mark out where I want the armature wire to go. Then I start to bendy bend the armature to the rough shape, just like that. Now take some aluminum foil and bulk up the armature. What this does is it not only makes it look cool and shiny, but it reduces the amount of clay you'll have to use and the baking time. Now just start smearing that clay up on that armature and then after I get it to the rough shape, I start to then add the muscles. Squishy squish. Look at some anatomy photos, that really helps. Using my tools to blend in the seams so you know, you don't want those seams. Adding more bulk to his side and where his pantaloons will go. He's got some really bushy pants. Uh-oh. Now his big Popeye forearms putting a basically just kind of an oval shape smushed it on there so here's where the silicone tools come in they're excellent at blending and smoothing and they're cheap gross stop that so this is it at the moment not a lot of details yet but they will come here's a stick i'm using to just squish in an indentation of where the belt will go and then the little wooden tool for his pockets Adding in a few folds in the uh, clothing and then smoothing with the alcohol that is excellent for smoothing clay. Ow, that looks painful. Adding in these seams in his back where the shirt is. Using alcohol and my silicone tool to add some more detail and folds in the fabric. All right, I'd say that's looking pretty good, but you know, I'm getting kind of thirsty. Let's go to the gas station, get something to drink. Oh, hey Moses. Oh, it's you. <sighs> huh. Perfect. Well, this will do it for me, buddy. Oh. <laughs> I see you have a tablet. I bet whatever you're reading, you download it off the cloud. Am I right? What? <laughs> see ya. All right. All right, let's get back to sculpting. Okay, you can see I've decided to use a picture of Crackshot where his arms are folded. Armature makes it like a bendable figure at this point. You can pose it into whatever pose you want. Now add in his little booties, just uh, bulking up his feet area. Very nice. Oh, I'm giving him a foot massage. Now I'm rolling up a little aluminum foil ball, um, putting on some clay. This will be the head. This stuff is amazing. It is Sculpey Bakeable Adhesive. I used it constantly throughout this entire thing. Now we're gonna poop that in the oven at 275 for 45 minutes. Uh-oh, sounds like it's done. Let's check on it. Uh, that's not my sculpture. Hold on a second. I am so bad.
There it is. All right, it is out of the oven. Let's go do some carving. Okay. Here are the carving bits I'm gonna be using. Can't remember what they're called, but I'll put a link in the description. By the way, polymer clay is excellent for carving after it's been baked. Look at that. I mean, it just flies off. And what's great about this clay is you can, after it's baked, add more to it. So I'm just bulking up the, the boots there. All the lighter areas you see are unbaked clay on top of the baked clay. Rolling out a thin strip, gonna start making some of these strappy dudes. I'm not quite sure what the porpoise of them is, but they look pretty cool. Using that tool, poking in some of the details on the belt. Definitely utilize your tools. Utilize your hands, which are your most important tools, but you know, your hands and fingers can't squeeze you in there and, and uh, get to all the, the crooks and nannies. Now, the hair, I just added some bulk, as you can see, getting the general shape down, then using a razor blade and my wooden tools to sort of carve out some channels. Then I come back, cut out little triangle sections, which will leave triangle sections to get it like that. Wow. Putting on the hat, using some of that glue. Look at that little guy all sitting there with his arms crossed and stuff. Waiting to go in the oven. It's gonna be kind of toasty in there for the little guy. But it's okay. Cause then we're gonna eat him when he's done. Uh-oh. I've lost my mind. All right, while that's baking, let's go make fun of Moses some more. <laughs> okay. Dude. Hey, it's you with all your Moses jokes. I'm the baddest man around. I broke all Ten Commandments at once. Well played, dude. Well played. Man, Moses is awesome. And you guys really, you should try his coffee. He bruises. <laughs> oh, hilarious. All right, that is two blanks that I made, which then I then baked, and now I'm carving. That's what's great about this, is you don't have to get the shapes exact. So I'm using my Dremel and a sanding block to add those hard edges into his shin guards. Now I'm marking out his foot on some clay. This will be the soles of his boots. I will glue those on a little later. Put on some buttons. He's got a few buttons around. Using my laser blade to cut a square, which this is going to be that belt buckle part. It's kind of an interesting shape. Just roll out the clay, cut out the shape, use that glue and slap it on there. He got a hole in his jeans, so we gotta patch it. A little square, add some threads, glue them on, cut them off. He's got these sort of ribbed cuffs that he's got around his arm ankles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Putting in some indentations for his eyeballs. Basically just carve little divots, put in some balls, squish them in there. Little triangle for his nose. Aw. Now I'm cutting the bottom or lower jaw section. He's got kind of a wide gaping mouth. It's interesting, but whatever. Glue that on. Some back pockets, cause you know he's gotta poot his wallet somewhere. Glue those on there. That's why I love this glue. You don't have to like blend anything in. Just slap it on there, squish it down. These wooden tools are great too for adding in fine line details, as you can see. That is one perky booty. Now, he's got these like backstrap things, cutting those shapes out with the razor blade. Rolling out a little worm there to uh, put on his hat. This is some kind of ornamental, you know, hat piece. Now his cool shin pads, gluing those on and the souls of his beauties, which I will then carve in a moment. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Thank you, that is all. As you can see here, it can also be carved with traditional carving tools. I'm telling you, polymer clay is pretty amazing stuff. I really enjoy working with it. Adding some even more details. The details just keep coming. This thing is very, very complex. You can see all these little bitty, uh, there's like little straps on top of his straps. I'm not sure what they do, but they look cool too. Oh, hey, it's me, weird.
Now this is his little arm cuff thing. It's like a ribbon tied around his arm. You can see I'm twisting it up right there. Then gonna glue it on the end so it looks like it's tied into a knot. Hi. Hey, it's me. Weird. Prime it. One, two, three. Whoa. Let's paint. Hey, stop that. All right, the paints I'm using are super cheap, basic acrylic paints that I got from Wally World. Nothing special at all. This is not sped up. I am that fast. Really the first coat, don't even worry about painting on other stuff. I come back in later and touch everything up. As I was saying, uh, touching everything up with a little fine paintbrush, it's very tedious and time consuming. But you know what? If you wanna do something cool, it takes dadgum time and the ambition to do it. It's gonna take time, so just know, don't rush, be patient, take your time. It'll all be fine in the end. It's finished. Okay, if you want to win this, I'm gonna give it away. All you gotta do in the comments is say, I want that. Followed by your favorite Fortnite skin, and in one week's time, I will pick a winner from the comments, but I'm gonna announce the winners on Twitter, so you gotta follow me there, at Bobby Dugard. Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I post photos of all kinds of stuff. There's, it's a little more personal. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and you could get a chance at winning the little hand. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. So remember to take the battle to the next level with the season seven battle pass and receive 100 tiers, 100 rewards, and 950 V-Bucks. A new cosmetic item. Wraps. Customize your weapons and vehicles to match your favorite outfits. And new pets. But no Joanna, unfortunately. But that would be pretty cool. So please download the game using the link in my description to help support my channel. Namaste. What else were you? Um, I'm going to have a 12 and a 16 and a 10. It's like your long lost brother. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Moses. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate it, dude. You're the man. Of course I am. I know. <laughs>